Hey, Kansas City. May is Mental Health Month, and in support of mental health, the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline has provided me with some handout materials. What we have here, in addition to our yard signs, are some tote bags sponsoring the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline Missouri logo. We also, of course, have some business cards that I have been handing out. I've had people help me hand some of these out, and I've been leaving them at local businesses and establishments that I may visit. We also have some squeezable stress balls with the 988 logo. Oh, you know, we get stressed out. We need something to squeeze. It's also a really good physical therapy exercise. They have provided us with an assortment of stickers. And I don't know about you, but I still feel like a teenager and I love stickers. Especially the ones that bring awareness and help promote hope for those who may be suffering from mental health, from a crisis, whatever they may be suffering from, uh, grief, trauma, depression, just being able to share these with people and let them know when they see the 988 sticker that I'm open to talk to, that I'm going to leave a light on for them, and that I'm helping to break the stigma that surrounds not only suicide, but mental health in general. We also have some hand sanitizer, and this is a little spray on. You just give it a quick, I'm not going to spray it, I don't want to get everything wet, but that I've actually been able to use recently. I carry one in my purse now. We also have the 988 Whistle, which kids really like this, but it may drive their parents to calling 988, no pun intended, you guys. It also is a laser light. So these also can be used, of course, for safety, as we know human trafficking is an issue, or just in general, to let people know that, hey, I'm here, I might need help. Uh, but what better to give a cry for help than being able to blow our own whistle, right? We also have the notebook, as you can see. It has a little flap inside of there, and it'll close up on its own, but pages are blank inside. I need two hands to open it. <laughs> But we also have ink pens and number two pencils with the 988 logo. You never know when you might need a pencil and or an ink pen to take down some notes, write down a name, share some help and information with other people. And we also have the 988 water bottle. Uh, this is one of those sports bottles pops up. Me personally, since I've been using and carrying it, I find that I drink more water actually. So this bottle is saving lives in more way than one. But of course the tote bag comes with some little pockets in the front. I think it's pretty good quality. It's just nice and open on the inside. You can carry a few crisis items with you, but you can definitely show your support when people see these. So some of these are very limited quantity. And for the next three people that sign up to get their very own 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline Yard Sign and help show their support during the month of May, and don't forget all year round, I will put together a handout tote of gifts and supplies that you can also hand out and or utilize to help show your support and to let others know that it's okay to not be okay, but to definitely reach out for help today, that they matter, that we care about them, that we want to give them hope in a way that they may have never received before. And the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline can do just that. In Missouri, they're implementing a crisis response team program that does not interact with governing authorities such as police firsthand unless the situation is dire, but instead they send out trained professionals to a person's location to help get them in touch with the resources they needed and to prevent their crisis from being a tragedy. 
Additionally, 988 also provides crisis care. If you know somebody who is in crisis and you're not sure on what to do or how to help them, the 988 Crisis Lifeline will walk you through crisis care and also follow up with both you and the person in crisis afterwards. So this is a very helpful tool. It is 911 for mental health, pretty much. I guess that would be what we could compare it to. So guys, I am, again, looking for yards in the Kansas City area. It can be Kansas, it can be Missouri. The 988 Lifeline is universal nationwide. And Kansas does not yet have its own dedicated funding for the 988 Lifeline. So this is an important issue in policy advocation, but also why we do not have yet the yard signs that say Lifeline Kansas. But I have spoken to 988 Missouri, and they have advised me, even if you live in the state of Kansas, you can display a sign in your yard and help show your support. So guys... If you can send me a message, send me an email, bfromkc at gmail.com. Send up a smoke signal, tie a message to a dove, whatever it takes to let me know that, hey, you're willing to show one of these signs in your yard and I can arrange a time to get it delivered or meet up with you and even place the sign in your yard. But if you are in crisis, it's very important for you to have the mental help for mental health. And I wanted to provide again today these phone numbers such as seven or I'm sorry, nine eight eight, which is the crisis lifeline, or seven four one seven four one text to talk. We also have the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at one eight hundred two seven three talk, which is eight two five five. And I do not want to leave out the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Association at the top. 1-800-662-HELP or 4357. Both 988, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, and of course the SAMHSA line all provide assistance for mental health and even for substance abuse disorders because remember, substance abuse does stem from mental health. Additionally, depression, anxiety, suicide, many other health conditions are affected as part of our mental health. So it's very important that if you are in crisis, that you definitely reach out to somebody today because mental help is good for your mental health. Well, I want to thank everybody who's listened for this long. You know, I'm not a professional. I'm an amateur. I'm just a regular person who cares, a person who's been affected by tragedy. I'm also a person who believes in God. And so I want to share not only the hope, of the help that is out there, but the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ, you guys, because as my testimony, the things that you are seeing and hearing and the good that is going out is because of the will of God in my life. And if I am able to stand up today and say, I want to help others, no matter what I've been through, I hope that you'll be brave enough to stand up and do the same. Thank you guys for listening. And as always, whenever, wherever, God bless.